In today's video, we'll be taking a detailed look and on-court test of the just released brand new Luka 2. Now, of course, the Jordan Luka 2 is Luka Doncic's second signature basketball sneaker with no other than Jordan brand. If you're interested in picking up the Luka 2s, we will leave links in the description below. Now, the overall shape of the Luka 2 is very similar to the Luka 1, but we do have a bit of upgrades that we're going to discuss in today's video. And ultimately, they have increased the price by $20 from $110 from the Luka 1 to $130 for the Luka 2. So we're going to be talking about whether we think that $20 price increase is worth it for this pair of sneakers. Now, the Jordan Luka 2 does have a maximalistic upper. And what I mean by that is the materials that they used here are pretty heavy duty. And when people are stepping on your sneakers here they're going to hold up pretty well in terms of a basketball sneaker the materials that are used here are pretty heavy duty now the one difference on this luca 2 is we do have integrated lacing system here and when you tighten these laces up it is a phenomenal job in terms of it tightens the entire thing up lots of basketball sneakers when you do tighten them up you have to pull them individually but these they seem whenever you do tighten up the top notches it kind of pulls the whole thing and tightens the entire sneaker so that was a really nice experience now with no surprise we do get formula 23 in the heel of the luca 2 and it does compress quite a bit now one of my favorite aspects of this basketball sneaker is of course going to be the containment system and the heel counter that we get on the luca 2 is very heavy duty and it's going to hold your foot into place so although this is a low top basketball sneaker i do think that the containment on it is going to be very very good in terms of low top basketball sneakers on the market the way that jordan brand designed this heel counter is going to be a very good lockdown mechanism now let's talk about sizing for the luca twos i did find them to fit true to size in terms of the length surprisingly when you look down at this this looks like it is perhaps a wide shoe a little bit of discomfort on the outer portion of both of my feet and i do think that this is where people that do have a wider foot are going to run into problems with the luca two where you may perhaps have to go up half a size in order to have a comfortable ride within the shoe in terms of the width and the main reason for that is the containment system that they put within this sneaker and as you can see here this plastic piece here it is more reinforcement for the upper of the sneaker when you're changing directions on the basketball court to have a little bit of more positive reinforcement. But with that, it does make the sneaker a bit more narrow. Now the pivot points that we get on the outsole here, this is a semi-translucent build that we have on this first Luka AI colorway. And I find the grip on the semi-translucent outsole to be very, very good, especially on the hardwood. And even when they do start to pick up a bit of dust, you are gonna be able to still get pretty good grip with these things. Now to sum the Luka 2 up, I personally believe that this is a basketball sneaker that is meant for players that play off of one foot and when you look at a player like Luka Doncic he's of course doing a lot of step backs a lot of fadeaways a lot of playing off of one foot and I think Jordan Brand had that obviously in mind when designing this sneaker because it does have a lot of reinforcements for the upper of the sneaker and containment that is really well within the heel counter that provide optimal stability when changing directions on the basketball court specifically with one foot and the main design features for this sneaker is I think that it was meant to not buckle when players are changing directions quickly spin move step backs off of one foot now if you're a similar player like that where you have a lot of weight and you're changing directions playing off of one foot then the Luka Doncic 2 is going to be a great option on the court now for the first category of containment we do give these a 9 out of 10 now for the second category weight the Luka Doncic 1 was a very very lightweight sneaker this one is going to be average coming in at a size 10 US they're 425 grams which is average for the basketball market now the formula 23 when it comes to the third category of of shock absorption when you're jumping up in the air coming down how well do they absorb the floor the materials in here at a price point of 123 they're not the best in the world but they are definitely not bad we give it an 8 out of 10. now the fourth category being comfort and that is of course in terms of basketball sneakers we will give these an 8.5 the formula 23 within the midsole and the heel counters along with the shank plates that are within the midsole do provide optimal cushioning on the basketball court and the fifth category is of course going to be playability we will give these a 9 out of 10 because i do think that this luka Doncic 2 is going to work for a lot of people out there in the market i think the only pain point that select people are going to experience is just this plastic piece here that is put on the upper for positive you know extra reinforcement with change of directions that may cause you to have to size up half a size if you do have a wider foot. But other than that, the grip is absolutely phenomenal. The shock absorption is pretty good. The comfort is good based on, you know, basketball sneakers. And the containment coming in at a 9 out of 10 is one of the best on the market at this price point. Now, we give the overall score for the Jordan Luka 2 a 85 out of 100. And the one thing to keep in mind is that this is a $130 sneaker. And in terms of the prices in today's, you know, basketball sneakers, there's a lot of shoes out there that are retail 
retailed at 200 even 220 so you could say that i know it's crazy to say that 130 dollars is a budget friendly shoe but I guess that's kind of what it's coming to be nowadays. So at that price point of 130 bucks, then for a score of 85, you can't go wrong with the Jordan Luka 2. But let us know down below in the comments, did you by chance pick up these sneakers and what basketball shoe would you like us to review next? Thank you so much for tuning in to the very first performance review of the Jordan Luka 2. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new to Sneaker Huddle. God bless and have a great day.